it's not wise to ignore a speeding ticket. It would land you in all kinds of legal and financial trouble, and it could even cost you your driving license. Before I go into how you could be penalised, you need to understand the process of getting a speeding ticket. The fines are very expensive and can be up to a grand on normal roads and up to two and a half grand on motorways, so I understand why you might want to hide from it. You can either be served a notice of intended prosecution in person by the police or it might land on your doormat within 14 days of the offence. When you're landed with your notice of intended prosecution, you've got 28 days to fill out the form that's attached telling the police who was driving at the time. It's a legal requirement and you could face prosecution if you fail to send it back in time. The NIP should arrive within 14 days of the offence, but if it arrives later uh, than 14 days after the offence, the police may not be able to prosecute you, but depending on the circumstance, exceptions can be made. Once you've replied, then it becomes a fixed penalty notice. You have two choices with your fixed penalty notice. You can either file a guilty plea and accept the fine and points, which means you've got 28 days to pay, or you could file not guilty and attend court. If you do decide to go down the court route, I strongly recommend that you get representation. It's really only a good idea if you have a mountain of evidence to back you up. When you ignore a fixed penalty notice for a speeding offence, your case gets referred to a magistrate's court. You'll receive a letter which gives you the opportunity to plead guilty to ignoring the FPN. As a result of pleading guilty, you'll be liable for a heavier fine with added court costs. If you plead not guilty, further action could be taken against you. A warrant for your arrest could be issued. You could be fined up to £1,000 and have six penalty points added to your licence. Worst case scenario, you could be disqualified from driving. There aren't that many options available to you when you're issued a speeding ticket. If you know you were driving at the time and you were speeding, the wisest thing to do is pay up and make sure you reply to your notice of intended prosecution and fixed penalty notice quickly. I'd also recommend sending it recorded delivery as well. Reasons to contest a speeding fine. Your vehicle was stolen when it was caught speeding. You were not the driver when the FPM was issued. There were no speed limit signs on the road you were traveling on. The chances of a successful appeal are very slim. 1% of speeding fine cases go to court and only half of those win. But if you're still wavering and think you could be in with a chance, it's best to get legal representation. A quick and easy way to get a professional opinion is by chatting to an online solicitor like Just Answer. For a £5 trial, you can ask all the questions you need. It could save you a lot of money on legal proceedings. I'll leave you a link in the description and if you use it, you'll be supporting my channel, so thank you.